All right, hi everyone. Uh, we're making this video today about what we call combi boilers. Um, we've done a bunch of them this winter and we posted a lot of cool install videos on them. So check those out on our Facebook and uh, YouTube page. But we get a lot of questions about what they are and what they do and kind of why we choose to install so many of those. Um, so I'm sitting here with Steve, our HVAC design specialist. Um, he's the one who goes out and measures these homes and picks out different systems based on people's homes and comfort level, budget level, everything like that. Um, and so he has all the answers about these systems and, and why we like to install them. So Steve, I'll start out asking you uh, just a real easy question. What is a combi boiler? A combi boiler is um, a boiler that hangs on the wall, uh, super efficient, uh, upwards of, you know, 90, usually around 95 and a half um, percent efficiency. Um, they do a combination heat, hot water, um, super efficient. Um, basically, the best feature on these things is they modulate. So if it's, you know, not a, a cold day, let's say it's like, you know, like today where it's 40 degrees, 30 degrees outside, uh, the boiler is going to communicate with, a, um, with the thermostat that we're going to install. Uh, it's going to figure out uh, a heat curve. It's a mathematical equation um, that plumbers do to figure out how much BTUs uh, we need in the house. And it's going to factor in all of, all of that into, it, into its computer. And it's going to basically do, you know, 140 degree water rather than 180 degree water like a conventional, um, you know, just on and off type system. It's a maintaining boiler. It's basically cruise control for, for a heating system. Um, and all those things equal out to, you know, savings. Right. And so they call it a combi boiler because it does the combination of both the heat and the hot water yeah. savings, right? Yeah. And so, I mean, you gave us a lot of reasons why we might install one there. The efficiency, hanging on a wall, saving some space, um, and the overall comfort level, right? What would you say is probably the biggest reason to install one of these systems? Um, I would say, you know, obviously it's got to be money. Um, you know, you could save 25 to 30 percent on your um, on your fuel bill. The, the big thing for me, the, the, the feature that I like most on the uh, on the unit is uh, so getting back to the uh, cruise control. Mm -hmm. So basically it's making, you know, 140 degree water for six hours and then you come home from work and you take a shower that boil is going to ramp up to 180 degrees it's going to give you what you need to take your shower but when you're done your shower there's a lot of energy left over and what that boiler does is it dumps it back into the house as heat so there's no waste so compare that to for you know the listeners and the watchers here um Compare that to what a regular boiler does, like instead of being that 180 when you really need it and then getting back down to 140, how does a normal boiler act? So the way a conventional boiler would work is it has a triple aquastat usually, mm -hmm. um, and it needs to be 180 degrees, 160 degrees, 180 degrees, 160 degrees. So if you go away for two weeks on vacation, that boiler is still going to do that. It doesn't know that you're, that you're gone. It doesn't know you're on vacation. Where the wall hung boiler um, is going to know because it senses what you're doing in the house. If you open a faucet, it knows. It has a, it has a pressure switch. So it knows you know, to give you just a little bit of uh, energy, you know, a little bit of gas to wash your hands. It knows to give you a lot of gas to take a shower. Where the conventional boiler is just on off on off it's it just needs to always be ready right. always hot right. so like you said save up to maybe 25 to 30 percent on energy bills with that cruise control like correct feature. yeah and that's and that's being conservative yeah. usually um you know we as a company you don't want to say a boiler is going to do something that it can't do mm -hmm. and this is you know sky's the limit with with a uh with a uh, wall hung boiler. It's just amazing the way the technology is. And then you add in the feature of the, you know, the Wi-Fi thermostat and the way everything just works together. The biggest thing is basically explain it like a car, you know, 40 miles to, to the gallon versus like 12 miles to the gallon. Um, highway versus city driving. Highway versus city driving. Yeah. But 
you also have to explain it, okay, well, the power is there because you start explaining it like a Prius. People are like, oh, I don't, you know, there's not enough power in that, in that vehicle. I want to go zero to 60 in two seconds. Right. Well, you can. So I always explain it like a Hellcat. It's, you know, the, the Dodge Challenger that goes zero to 60, 2.9. It's 800 horsepower, something like that. But that car gets 30 miles to the gallon on the highway. Right. How does it do that? Modulation. Mm -hmm. It's a modulating boiler. You know, it's 199,000 BTUs, but if you don't want it to be 199,000 BTUs, you don't need it to. You can just wash your hands. It's gonna give you 1.8 inches of water column, just give you enough gas to wash your hands and then it's gonna shut off. Um, so I know we've done a few this year already where a customer had oil, so we had to convert them to either propane or natural gas. So they don't make these combi boilers in oil, right? So you do have to go the propane right. or natural gas um, road. Talk about why that might be a good option for a customer. So oil is not there yet. Um, they do make some really efficient oil systems, um, but usually you have an oil tank you know, sitting in the basement that's going to be over 12 years old. Um, so they recommend replacing that, you know, because of the sludge, because of the, uh, the bacteria that's growing inside of the tank. Uh, you don't want to transfer that oil into the new tank. So you're going to end up spending $2,500 to $3,000 to replace that oil tank. How about when you have to go from oil to propane? You're still paying to get propane tanks, or not to get the propane tanks, but to refill that propane. But when we put in a efficient boiler, like a combi, 95% efficient boiler, yeah. does that make more sense to do that with the propane or keep the oil? What's, what's more efficient there? You know, a so, lot of oil guys are like, you know, I get more uh, BTUs out of an oil system but you have to factor in there's less water in that system. Mm -hmm. Like if you just took an oil boiler that has a 30 gallon capacity and you have a, you know, 100,000 BTU gun that's pumping out a gallon per minute, I mean a gallon per hour. Mm -hmm. um, if you took that and converted that to propane, yes. Oil has more BTUs and it's stronger than propane. But where you take out the water factor and you only have 30, I mean, uh, six gallons of water, outdoor temperature sensor, smart thermostat, uh, internal circulator, it's using less energy to heat that water. Okay. Um, so no matter what, propane, natural gas, oil is still number three, I would say. Gotcha. You know, in that, in that area. And it also depends on your price per gallon. Like we've, we've had uh, some situations further north. I feel like the more north we go, the, the more expensive propane is. Right. Uh, but locally, you know, dairy, if you stay, you know, an hour radius, it's, it's pretty much the same. Hmm. Uh, the further north you go, we'll get up upwards of uh, four or five dollars a gallon sometimes just because of the rural areas. No, and the way you describe that actually makes a lot of sense. If you try to compare propane to oil, apples to apples, it won't exactly show you, but it's a totally different thing when you're switching it to a more efficient system like right. a combi boiler. It's not apples to apples anymore and it's a different system working that way to make it more efficient than the oil. So Correct. I'm, yeah. I'm glad you explained it like that because that cleared it up for me too. Um, just last question here. When we say a boiler is n or a furnace, whatever, if we say it's 95% efficient, what does that mean? So the best way I can explain efficiency to the customers, because a lot of times you get the, uh, you know, what are you saying? Yeah. I have no idea what that means. Um, so I always explain it as $1,000. Mm -hmm. So you take $1,000 of your money and you put that into the house. There's going to be a loss. So anytime you have combustion, anytime there's fuel and air and fire, there's going to be a loss. Mm -hmm. Your money, you're going to lose money. Um, and that's out the vent. So if you look at your oil boiler, you're going to have a six, seven inch pipe that goes into the chimney and it's probably going to have a little hole in it. Mm -hmm. And that's where we stick our combustion analyzer and back rack. And we take a, a reading and it tells us a bunch of information. One of those is temperature. In that flue, 
is probably four or 500 degrees in oil. That's your money going up the chimney. So typically your, um, your oil boil is gonna be 80% efficient. And then you factor in the burner, which is another $400 a year. So now we're at what, 75 maybe? Yep. So we're losing $250 on your $1,000 that you just put into that house right up the chimney. A wall hung boiler, the vent is gonna go out the side of the house. It's PVC, um, you can touch it. It's probably 95, 96 degrees. Um, and the efficiency on a wall hung boiler is probably about $30 loss. So 250 or $30, right. it's, it's a waste. All right, well, that's our video on combi boilers. If you have any questions for us, uh, you can leave them in the comments. You can call Paul the plumber, um, get in touch with myself or Steve, and we'll try to do our best to answer them for you. Um, and look out for more videos in the future here. Thank you. Thank you.